Hi everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, in the next uh, few series of episodes here, I'm going to be covering the toolbar and kind of talking about what these tools do here and uh, how to access them and how to utilize them. The first one I'm going to be going over is the selection tool. In fact, if, if you just hover your mouse over this, you'll notice it says selection tool. This is your, by de this is your default tool, uh, kind of the go-to tool that, um, that you'll be using for most of your editing. Now, in order to select this on the toolbar, you can just move your mouse over and you can click on the actual item that you're trying to select. Just by clicking on these, you can select those tools. Uh, or you can use your shortcuts. If I hover over this, it shows in parentheses there what my shortcut is for the selection tool, which is the letter V. No modifier keys like Shift or Control, just the letter V. Now watch what happens when I hit V. My uh, selection tool has been selected and now I'm operating with my selection tool. Now the selection tool does what it says it, it selects things in your timeline and a lot of these tools are for operating within your timeline and program window most of them are and what this does with your selection tool is first of all you can click on a file and it will select it you can select click on a range of files if you hold down shift and select on individual clips here you can select individual clips now I have three clips selected there if you want to deselect you can click away from them in the gray area here or another way of deselecting is control shift a deselects everything on your timeline control a select everything on your timeline control shift a deselects everything on your timeline and once again if you're working on a mac it's command shift a or command a instead of control and while we're talking about selection another way you can select files here is you can uh, drag a marquee over a, a certain amount of clips and the way you have to drag a marquee is you got to make sure that you're not on a clip because if you're over a clip and you grab and start dragging it actually moves it this tool is actually a move tool and so what we can do is click outside of the clip here and click and drag and it will make this little uh, box here and as we drag it over multiple clips, you can select multiple clips. You can select a range of clips by doing that. So two other functions of this, rather than just a select tool, but if you need to move some clips, this tool also works as a move tool. So it also works as a move tool. If I grab my marquee and drag it over a few clips and I move my mouse over one of these selected clips and grab it and drag it to the right and I'm not letting go, this is dragging uh, these items wherever I want to put them on the timeline. You can move them on top of things. You can move them... Let me undo that, control Z a couple times. Now if you want to move, let's say we want to move a clip, so we want to move this clip and put it, reposition it in between here. A little trick you can do here is you move your mouse over this, click and drag it and start moving it. And right now notice that my magnet is turned on, which is going to make this uh, snap to the timeline. It'll snap when it gets close to clips. Look how that magnetizes and snaps to it. So you can get it exactly on an edit here. If I grab this and drag it, say I want to take this clip and move it in between these two right here. If I grab it and just move it over and put it right there where it snaps on that edit and I let go, look what it does. It just eats over everything in its path. So if I grab that again, I move it over, click it into place. Now I hold down control or command on a Mac. And now not letting go of control key, I'm going to let go of my mouse. And now I can let go of my control key. And look what that does. It does a ripple edit, basically shoves that in and shoves everything else out. And you'll notice it's going to do that because that's shortcut when I hold down control, look at the little arrows that point to the right. If I let go there, now I can let go of my mouse, not the control key, and then let go of the control key. And it pushes everything else out. Another way to do that is using the, the keys uh, control X, C, and V, or command X, C, and V. And what that is is basically X, C, and V in a word processor is cut, copy, and paste. Uh, so if I select this clip here, I do control X, it cuts it and keeps it on the uh, clipboard ready to paste. And now I'm going to arrow up to the point. Arrow up will jump to the edits to the left. Arrow down will jump to the to the edits to the right, and I want to insert it right there. And I'm going to do, if I do control V, as in Victor, it pastes and eats it over everything in its path. I'm going to undo. And rather, I'm going to do control shift V as in Victor, and it will paste and shove everything else out. The shift acts as a modifier key where it creates a, a ripple paste rather than a an overwrite paste. And look at it shoved everything else out there. Another thing that uh, my selection tool does, it works as a moving tool, a selection, it works as a selection tool, a moving tool, and it also works as uh, what we call a trim tool. These shots have been edited and, and dropped down to the timeline. They still have what is called handles on the edge and ends of these. It means there's uh, footage uh, from this clip right here before and after the clip that I didn't use. Let's go to this one for instance here. I'm going to grab this and just move it down a little ways here just so we can kind of observe this clip by itself. I'm going to uh, hit minus to zoom out and plus plus to zoom up on this clip. So now look what happens when I go to the edge of this uh, clip here. It brings up this little red arrow tool. And this is your trim tool. It changes your arrow to this trim tool. And what this basically does is it allows you to extend this footage over to the right or shrink this footage over to the left. And it shows what your new 
out point frame is up here with that time code. So let's do that again. I grab that and drag it to the right, and it's extending the clip, and it's letting, and it's uh, changing the edit point, basically, the, the out point. And I can do that to my end point as well and change my end point. But this will only let you drag it as far as you can until it bumps into another clip. When it bumps into another clip, you're restrained to that, to that length of the clip there. Uh, so you can use your ripple to, your ripple tool to, to get around that, but we're not going to be covering that in this episode. So that, those are the main three functions of the selection tool is to select clips, to move clips, and to trim clips. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the next couple episodes. In the next few episodes, I'm going to be covering more of these items on the toolbar.